My name is Sarah Jean Cowell, and I have a say over birth control coverage. When I was 19 years old, I started showing symptoms of endometriosis. My insurance company wouldn't cover the surgery needed to definitively diagnose this disease. They also wouldn't cover the birth control used to treat this disease because I didn't have a definitive diagnosis. For the next six years, I lived off of emergency room visits and ibuprofen and painkillers and I pretty much lived on the couch for two weeks out of the month with a heating pad. When I was 25 years old, I was married and covered with insurance and ready to start a family. When I couldn't get pregnant after six months, I went to the doctor. She did a surgery that definitively diagnosed me with endometriosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and suspected adenomyosis. At the time, she told me that if I was ever going to conceive a child of my own, the time was now. So for the next six months, my husband and I tried like heck to have a baby. We wanted a baby bad. I still do. But it didn't work. I never did get pregnant. Every month, the test was negative. After that, they told me that the only thing that they could do was put me on a drug called Lupron. Basically, it put you into menopause and shut your body completely down. So I said, okay, I want my life back. I want to go back to school. I want to be able to work. I, I want to be able to do the laundry without paying. After two months on this drug, my hair was falling out. I was having memory loss. I couldn't sleep because of the hot flashes and it rotted my teeth. If I had been given birth control when I was 19 years old, it would have suppressed the growth of the endometriosis and maybe I would still have my teeth. Two years later, I was told that the only thing that they could do was a hysterectomy. I was 26 years old when they took my uterus, my ovaries, and my cervix. At this point, I have no uterus, I have no cervix, I have no ovaries, and I have no teeth. If I had been given birth control when I was 19 years old, I wouldn't be sitting here like this. I have a say. I gave up having any chance of biological children. I am over a million dollars in medical debt. I will never be able to afford to adopt a, a child because I can't even afford to pay off the surgeries that I've had. I was denied birth control and this is what happened. I have no teeth, no baby, still no job because I'm still sick. I have a say. I have sisters and I have friends and I have nieces and we are all women and we deserve this basic health care coverage. I was denied children of my own because I was denied birth control. I have a say.